Greetings, WMST in DC from Washington Preparatory High School in Los Angeles. Um, today I will be walking you through our hack of Andy Tuna Harris's hack um, Boat Duino code for the Sea Perch combined with a motor driver from Adafruit. So as you see here, we have our Sea Perch model and we have hacked, as I said, Andy Tuna's original Boat Duino code in order to um, work for our Sea Perch, which has three motors. And by doing so, we use the AF motor library from Adafruit in order to define our three motors, as you can see, motor one being the left motor, motor two being the right motor, and motor three being the up motor. So what we have done was um, we left most of, the, most of the code the same, but we had to redefine our cases. Uh, as you can see here, we have um, for to turn left, as you see, um, when, when we press, oops, hold on. When we press the little L button, our left motor turns and we go right. When we press S, the motor stops. But when we press the little R, our right motor turns and our uh, C perch moves left. So once again, I will stop the motors. Now when we have a big L, and we press enter, both motors move one in the left direction and one in the right direction, so our um, sea perch can make a sharp right turn. I'll stop the motors, and the exact opposite will happen when I press the big R. It'll make a sharp left turn. Now, for our forward, we have, let's stop this. So now, if we want the motors to move forward, we press F, and both of our motors are moving in the forward direction. And for our backwards direction, we have lowercase b, which moves both motors backwards. Now, the trickiest part of our hack was using the up button, which we had connected originally, but it wasn't working. We didn't know why. And the reason why it was not working was because even though our Sea perch is running by computer. We still needed the button on the actual control to be pressed down in order for our up and down motors to work. So if we want to go up, we press U, and our motor goes up. Now, if we were to either untape the motor here or press this or press this one here, it would break the circuit. How do you move down? And in order to move down, okay, we would press D, and the and the C perch dives. And once again, if we were to press this button, the connection would be broken. Beautiful. And that is our hacked model of the Sea Perch. Now, how many motors can you run simultaneously, and what are the dangers? Oh, we can actually run all three motors simultaneously, as you can see here. But the problem is our uh, oh, oh, one of the wires came out. Oh, um, our motor power, shield. our motor shield will eventually overheat because it's not made to run three motors at the same time for very long. As you can see already, all three has started to heat up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that we're not using too much energy like that because we do not want to burn anything out. So you would only use it to go forward and then stop and then, and then use one up. motor to go down and up? Right. We would not use all three at the same time, especially not underwater. And that's because you're using 12-volt motors and each of them draws about an amp of current? Yes, and this motor shield can only support up to twelve, up to two amps. Oh, to, oh twelve. Twelve volts. Twelve volts, but two amps. Two yes. amps. Excuse me. So running three would overburden it. Is there a solution for that? Yeah, Has to do with piggybacking. Piggybacking. You didn't yeah. tell me the, the solution. solution is that well, we I, we're talking about this one? Yeah. we take no. these H bridges. Wait, Mm -hmm. And we put another H bridge on top this of each one, wrong. like it's piggybacking. So we this take another one of these, these IC chips and put it on top, and we'll solder it together, and that'll double the amount of current that oh. it can support. Okay. Well, it's like you know every day. Yeah. 
All right. Well, thank you very much, Easy. Thank you. And just to introduce yourselves. My name is Erica. My name is Luis. And we hope that you guys will enjoy working together this semester. Yes, we will. All right.